Um, here is a little snippet of something that a lot of people don't know about me. <laughs> um, yeah. Let me get this. Oh boy. It's, it's not going to stay. Um, when I was young, little, really little, I don't remember how, I was, maybe I was a teenager, probably 13. Um, I had a yellow lab named Moxie. Um, I was in the backyard doing training and, uh, I was just a kid. I didn't know really what I was doing and I guess I was yelling at him a lot. Um... I probably wasn't being nice. I don't know. I don't really remember the whole situation, but my dad had a race car in the garage. This will probably not go very well with family. I'm probably going to get yelled at or told that I'm a poop head for posting this, but a few years ago, maybe last year, I posted on Facebook that you shouldn't call your kids names. And I was made fun of and ridiculed because I said that you shouldn't call your kids names. Uh, and I said that I was called a name when I was a kid and I know what it does to your kids. And um, I wasn't allowed to stand up for kids at that moment and tell their, their parents not to call their kids names. I'm not perfect. I've probably called my kid a name or two. I try every day, the older I get, to do better. We all make mistakes and we all deserve grace and love when we make them. So, I'm not trying to tell anyone in my family I'm still mad at you or I still hate you or... <laughs> whatever for what happened back then but if I can share something it helps another little kid not have to go through that I will so anyway I just, I'm a hot mess uh, this is extremely crazy and uncomfortable and this is not something I really want to do in my life but this is what's happening and I'm going to do it um, my dad had a race car in the backyard in the garage we lived in Chesapeake Virginia on English Avenue with a big pool in the backyard and um, my dad is in the Navy and I can't remember if my mom was working. My mom was probably working at the time. I don't know. None of it's probably relevant. Uh, he had friends in the backyard, in the garage, and they could hear me training the dog, yelling at him, screaming. I don't know. I don't. I honestly don't remember what I was doing. I know that I was teaching him how to jump hurdles. And, uh,. I don't really remember much of much else. Um, and I guess one of his friends commented and said something about I was like little Hitler or something like that. And, you know, the story goes that it was just meant to be a joke. Well, this not so funny, very hurtful joke turned out to be about 15 years of complete and total torment <laughs> because every time I had any kind of emotion or got angry about anything or whatever I could be in the right I could be in the wrong I could be whatever and oh you're a little Hitler and I can tell you from many years of experience 
that being compared to the most vile human being on the planet is not an easy pill to swallow. It's damaging. Extremely damaging. The results of me being called Little Hitler for 15 plus years has created an adult that cannot believe first of all I don't believe in myself at all I have no confidence um, that doesn't just stem from that that's from a whole lot of other abuse that I've um, gone through and I'm not saying my parents abused me I'm not saying that at all I'm saying that you know you can be abused by other people other than your parents um Uh, I have no confidence in myself. I do not believe that I can accomplish anything most of the time. Um, I am a fighter. I don't usually quit because I want to prove to myself that I can do it. And a lot of times I do succeed in the things that I do. Um, and I have to fight and I have to push and I have to be, you know, go, go, go. Um, I tend to hyper-focus on those things so I can prove everyone wrong. Um, so when I hyper-focus on those things, I don't focus on anything else. Everything else, including my children, my husband, my home, everything gets neglected. Uh, because I'm fighting against something that happened and traumatized me when I was a child until I was an early adult. Um, I do not believe in my heart of hearts. I do not believe that I can or am or have ever been a good person. Um, I just don't believe it. I'm not acting. This is not a lie. This is not an act. And I'm sure some people think, wow, you're just being overly dramatic. It's just a name. They were just joking. Sure, they were just joking. And they thought they were being innocent. We always think that, you know, what we do, what we say is just being funny. And you, you can't have any fun. And Well, you can have fun. There are things that don't damage people that you can have fun about. And those things are okay. But for me, this was not. Maybe some other people would have managed it better, but I have something up here that doesn't work that way. Okay. So, I just don't believe for a second that there will ever be a good bone in my body. I can't be a good person. I try to be a good person, but most of the time, I've just been, I, I've been in my life kind of nasty. Um, because I don't believe that I can be a good person. Um, I try really hard now. I am changing. Uh, it's only been the last, I don't know, five or six years that I've been trying to really work on uh, that part of me. Um, it's not easy when you've done it for 40 years. You've lived believing that you are the most vile creature on the planet. Okay? Uh... <laughs> Every time I had an emotion, every time I did something wrong, every time I got angry, whether I was right, whether I was wrong, it's called Little Hitler. Uh, one family member, the first time they met my husband, approached him and said, oh, we used to call her Little Hitler. Like, that's the only thing they had to say to my husband. 
<laughs> about me. Like, <sighs> wow. And when that's the only thing that comes out of your mouth, and you can't say, well, yeah, I, I really love her. She's a good person, and, you know, she's done this and that and this and that in her life, and blah, 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 blah. And that's the only thing you got? <laughs> It really, it, it hits you here. It really does, but it hits you more here. And it messes with your mind. It really messes with your mind, okay? Um, don't, just don't do it to your children. Don't do it at all to your children. If you can help it, just don't do it to your children. I, I promise you that they will be traumatized for their entire life. So today when I posted something on Facebook about, uh, people just being obnoxious about football and I said, um, I said, what did I say? I don't even remember what I say. I said something about if you agree with me, whether you agree with me or disagree with me or like what I said or whatever, or don't even comment or you'll be deleted. It didn't mean I would delete you from my life or even delete you off of Facebook. I just meant I would delete your comments because I do that all the time. If I don't, if people are being hateful in my comments, I just delete the hate because I don't want it. I don't, I try not to put hate out there. I'm not always successful about that. But I try not to put the hate out there. Um, sorry, I have something in my tooth. Um, I really do try to be a nice person. I try to be a good person. I believe in God. I love God. I have a really good relationship with God, I think. I hope. Um, <laughs> and I try to live that way. I'm not successful at that at all. I really am a failure at being a really good Christian, but I love God, so hopefully that'll get me in heaven. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't. Just don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. Don't think that you're doing something cutesy cutesy with some nickname that could be highly offensive to somebody and ruin their life. Um, anyway, I was talking about the post and I was told that because I said that, you know, if you don't agree, you'll be deleted, um, that I was being Hitler and, you know, I don't want to give the person that much power over me and I'm not crying because I'm hurt or they've done that to me. I'm crying because I'm angry. I am crying because this world sucks and people suck and it isn't okay to compare people to the most vile human being on the planet simply because they wrote something that you didn't like. And you have a problem with it. And you can't afford to give anyone grace and love. I'm okay with admitting that what I wrote was not what I meant. I'm okay to admitting that I didn't write it correctly. I'm okay with that. I made a mistake. I didn't put what I meant. That doesn't mean I deserve to be disrespected and belittled and treat it that way. You don't get to
do that to people. You just don't. You don't get to call your children names. You don't. You don't get to walk around and call your kids little Hitler or little shit or an asshole or whatever name you think isn't going to bother them because it will it will affect them there'll be a 47 almost 48 year adult that believes wholeheartedly that they are the most vile human being on the planet and they will never amount to anything but an asshole because that's what I believe I'm working really hard to get out of that. But here I am, almost 50 years old, and I haven't gotten there yet. So that tells you how long it takes to get through it. I'm not the perfect mom. I'm not innocent, and I'm not saying that I have never, ever made a mistake being a parent, okay? I am not claiming that because I can tell you what from the start when I first had kids until even today, I am not perfect and I still make mistakes. But if I could stop you from making this one, I'm going to tell you my story. That's my story. It hurts. It hurts so bad. It messes with your brain messes with you severely just don't do it okay just don't do it it's ooh, hot mess express y'all don't do it all right even if you think you're being affectionate find something else because they may not feel the affection from that <laughs> Don't make them feel like a vile human being. It's not fair. <sighs>